Hello everyone and welcome back to another Schlib monthly pickup video. Today we're going to look at all the video games I picked up in the month of July. So uh, first we're going to start off with the Switch games. So we got Adam Ventures Origins, which I bought brand new from GameStop.com. And they were really nice and sent it to me in a generic black case. Um, luckily the, was, they put the proper artwork in that case. I don't know why. Uh, and um, I just switched it into um, regular cases that I had stockpiled, which I ordered a bunch from Nintendo. All right, so let's uh, grab the game cartridge, pop it in the Switch. So we see it there, we got the icon for it. We get, there was a software update, I popped it in, it updated to version 1.0.1. .1. And let's check the gold points. And expiration has passed, so let's switch over to my European account. And we got 56 over there. Alright. Next up, we have... Akiba's Trip, Hellbound, and Debriefed. This game came with this really nice... Um, 10th anniversary edition. This was the retail edition, so if anyone that bought the game retail got this. Comes with a soundtrack art book. You can check out my separate unboxing video for all that. Alright, the next game we got is Color X Malice. A slick, stylish, and sexy thriller. Sounds good. And got my receipt there. Um, we've got nice inner artwork. And we got the cartridge there. Grab the cartridge, pop it in the switch. So we got version 1.0.0 .0 on cart. There is an update available. And expiration has passed for this and see updated already to 1.0.1. .1. Check my European account. And I can't redeem there. All right. So that is Color X Malice. Next game we got is Fallen Legion Revenants Vanguard Edition from NAS America. This uh, standard version of the game came out a while ago. Picked it up in GameStop and um, a few weeks ago. There is a collector edition, which I didn't get. Really nice inner artwork there. We got a warranty card. Got this little packet here, which we'll open up. So we got a uh, track list for the soundtrack. I am not going to show the code on the other side of this. And we got a nice little uh, small art book. Alright, here's the cartridge. There we go. And we'll, let's pop it in the switch. So version 1.0.0 on cart. There is an update available. And we get 40 points for this one. All right, the next three games, we'll just go through quickly. We got The Flowers Collector and The Lion Songs, In Most and The Last Day of June. This is, was the uh, latest uh, Super Rare Triple Pack. I showed a separate video for these. Along with In Most, we got a nice slipcover. And we got a, a art card, postcard, and a really nice steel book. Again, if you want to see more of those games, there is a separate channel on the separate video on my channel for all those three games, the whole triple pack together. All right, again, we'll uh, do a couple games in one thing. We got the next two games, No More Heroes and No More Heroes 2: Desperate Struggle. These both came from Limited Run. That does not go there. And we got um, really nice um, two collector editions, one for each game. 
Again, we have a separate video of that for more on those games. I was going to show this earlier. Uh, I forgot, so I'll show it now. We have Qualico Block Knockers from Fun Stock and East Asia Soft. Um, this is a Lewid game from them. Um, I'm not opening this up, so in here we got the. Um, Let's just see what it says. Return to the feel of smoky 90s Japanese arcades as you pull, kick, and match blocks to reveal hidden images of the lovely ladies behind each stage. It includes exclusive images not seen on the digital version and original soundtrack CD. Me Stage Soft, Funbox, and some others. It's only rated Peggy 16. Um, yeah, that's uh, staying sealed, so we will not be looking at that now. All right, we got the next game is we have Off Road Racing Buggy X ATV X Moto. From Mike Words Games, I bought this from Gameplay. Got beautiful inner artwork there. Let's pop this one in the Switch. Got the icon there, just off road racing, doesn't even have the full name there. And let's check for points. So, yeah, the spine has the name on the cart, doesn't actually have the whole subtitle. Expiration Pass, this only came out in January. That's weird. All right, so we got uh, European points for this one. And it's checked for the software update. And there is an update available. All right. Next game we got is R-Type Final 2 from NIS America. I also bought this one with Gamefly with the same board as the last one. It came with a like uh, inaugural flight edition. So this was a uh, this was the retail version of the game. Came with this. Comes with a soundtrack, an art book. Um, there was a larger collector edition available on NIS's website, but I did not get that one personally. So that game also has a separate video if you want to see more on that. Next game we have the Silver Case 2425, which came in from NIS America. With this really nice collector edition, it came with some comic books, and also you could check out the full um, video for that on my channel. All right, next game we have Tin and Kuna from ASCII's game. I bought this from GameStop as mentioned earlier. That was a whole fun situation, and we got the cartridge here. Let's pop this one in the switch. We got the icon. We got version 1.0.16.1 on cart. And we got an update available. Let's check for points. And we got 30 points for this one. Now the next game we have is Truck Driver from Stesco. So I ordered this one from GameStop in the same order as those other two games. Um, but this one shipped separately and actually came in a real case. Um, you know, even though it was new, it wasn't sealed, but you know, what do you expect buying from GameStop? So this we have version 1.6.6866 on cart. And we got an update available. And we got 50 points for this one. Nice. All right. Next game, we have Ease 9 Monstrum Nox Packed Edition. So this is what you would get if you got it in retail. And of course, I bought the NIS Collector Edition. Nice big box over here. You can check out the full video if you want to see more on that. All right, last Switch game for this month, we got Zombie Army Trilogy. All right, this one has inner artwork, which is always good. Let's pop this one in my Switch. So we got the icon there. We got version 1.0.0 on cart. We got a software update available. Assuming that these points are gonna be expired. So let's check my European account. And we got 49 for this one. All right, so that is all the Switch games that we got this month. 
Now, I forgot to show this earlier, but with the No More Heroes, we got the No More Heroes 1 Steelbook. It's a nice Steelbook. We also have the No More Heroes 2 Steelbook. Then we also have the PM Studios um, promotional steelbook. So that's the, we got the front there, PM Studios on the spine. Got the back. I really love the design. It looks like this is like a crease sticker, but it's not really neat. Love like the Game Boy look to this. And inside we got uh, 24 cartridge slots, like we had with those Lego steelbooks. We also got these stickers along with it. Which is neat. And the last steelbook we got this month was the European Skyward Sword steelbook. It's a really neat, nice steelbook. I didn't show off the game because I actually sold my European copy of the game. I'm waiting for the Korean one to come in and that's the copy I am going to keep. I really, really like this steelbook. All right, along with that order um, for the Skyward Sword from uh, um, the Shop 4 Mega Store, we got this Zelda Skyward Sword HD keychain, which is really nice. It's bigger than I expected it to be, if I'm being honest. So it came with the game, the came the game, this keychain and steelbook and this poster, which I'm just going to be keeping in the plastic. And since we're on Skyward Sword HD, GameStop had this really nice poster as a pre-order bonus. They were nice and gave me one. And since we're talking about GameStop pre-order bonuses, we got a nice poster here for Chris Tail. The um, quality between these two posters is noticeable. This one being very thin paper, this one being a little thicker, and also this one has a really nice emboss mint with Link over there. And we also got these this nice magnet set for uh, Neo The World Ends With You. That was another uh, pre-order bonus from GameStop. All right. Now, while we are continuing with Switch-related stuff, we have, first I'm gonna show off this really nice um, custom-made Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury manual that um, so from Twitter user uh, Nosy Tango, I think is how you pronounce it, hopefully. And it's a really nice custom steelbook. They were nice enough to send it to me. They've done, um, um, I don't know if I just said steelbook, but manuals. Uh, they've done for um, Splatoon 2, uh, Fire, Fire Emblem Three Houses, one for each house. And I think they did arms. This is the only one I have, though. So that was really nice. Thank you again for that. And. The last Switch related thing we're gonna show that came this month is you might have seen it already earlier in or throughout my video. Got the uh, Skyward Sword HD Joy Con, which is really, really nice. So here's the box. Let's pop the Joy Con off the Switch for a better look. So here we have the left one, the Triforce symbol, and nothing on the back. That is nice. And I like the blue and. The right one, we have the Triforce here, and we have like it's more of a purplish color, which is also really nice. I really like these Joy-Con. Then we have the uh, wrist straps, which is a nice gray and a um, nice designed um, wrist strap, which is nice. That's like color to it. All right, let's straighten out my camera again. All right, so that is the uh, everything uh, Switch related that came in this month. All right, now for uh, other console games. So we got the um, Shantae Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color reprint from Limited Run. It's really nice. We got a Game Boy style box and a nice collector edition. You could check out more on this in its own unboxing video on my channel. Alright, one more other console 
early game. We got Shenmue 1 and 2. We got this on sale from Best Buy. Never played any of these games. It was cheap. So I try it out. So we got a um, we got the disc here. And we got a warranty card and a poster. Got one side and the other side. So that is Shenmue. All right. So the next thing I'm going to show is earlier this month, I was a bit of an idiot and I um, damaged my Trails of Cold Steel art book. Got this corner ripped here and yeah, it's damaged. I was very upset about this and I'm sure a lot of you know how much I really love the Cold Steel, uh, all the Kaseki games. So not long after this happened, I remembered, I noticed on Xseed's website that they had them for sale. So I decided to go on their website to check it out. And I picked up two more of the art books because they were five bucks each. And then while I was at there, I decided, let's see what else they have. So I found this Corpse, um, Corpse Party art book. And spoilers in here, but we'll just flip through it. A horizontal art book. I've heard good things about this game, so decided to grab that. They also had a art book for Ease 7, Oath of Iguana, and 1 and 2. Which is interesting because this was from like the PSP era and they still had this available. So that was cool. Decided to grab it. After I've done my Kaseki playthrough, I am planning on an Ease playthrough. Besides for that art book, they also had another Ease art book. This one is for one of these games. I don't remember. Doesn't say like right away. But yeah, so this is for another one of the Ease games. Doesn't actually list in there. Um, then they also had this um, compass that came from the Vita Collector Edition of Ease Memory of Silseda. It's a neat little thing, if you want to know what way we're facing right now. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. That way is south. So that's the uh, slow, nice slow compass. Then we also got a uh, Ease Silver Anniversary Edition Music from the History of Ease. So I'm not sure what this released with, but it's a three disc soundtrack, which is really nice. And we got track this on disc one. We got from Ancient East Vanished Omen, Ancient Ease Vanished the Final Chapter, Ease 3, The Wanderers from Ease, and Ease of the Oath of Figuana. Disc 2 has Ease 4, The Mask of Sun, Ease 4, The Mask, the Dawn of Ease, and Ease, Memories of Salceda. Ease 5, Lost Kefflin, Kingdom of Sand, which is the only one that didn't get an English release. And Disc 3 has Ease, Ease 6, The Ark of Nefishtim, Ease 7, and Ease Origin, and The Typing of Ease. That's a nice uh, set. I think that one was 10 bucks, but otherwise everything else shown was $5. We also got a uh, Ease the Oath of Iguana music selection. This came with a PSP release, I believe. It's got a nice desk over there. And a paper over here. A nice little artwork. Track list. And vocals and lyrics for one of the songs. I love that they had a lot of Ease merch available on their site. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have any really thing for uh, any other Kaseki releases. The older ones would have loved to uh, get some stuff from those from the 
their PSP release. I guess they only released one Kaseki game on the PSP. All right, we also got East 7 soundtrack. With a nice disc over there. And we got the track list and lyrics. Hopefully some of these games are going to make their way to Switch, besides 4, 7, 8, and Origin. And, yeah, so that is everything that I ordered from that order. Now, when I actually opened the box, it was nice to see they threw in some free stuff. So we got a soundtrack for Sultan Roba Red the Hunter musical selections. This is a DS, from a DS game, apparently. I never heard of it prior to this. It's got a track list on the back. We got the spine. Inside, we got the disc. Looks like there's some nice artwork on the behind the disc. And we got some lyrics over there. And that's just a single piece of paper. I'm going to have to uh, look up this game. Another thing they sent in for free was uh, this little plush, which is from Akiba's Beat. So it's cool just looking through this pile. We got the Akiba's... Um, trip switch release and we got this free little plushie from Akiba's Beat and we got Ease 9 came in we got a lot of different Ease merch you know good stuff all around and alright so the last thing I'm going to show off in this video was um, a new release from Paul Murphy who's behind uh, Switch Player Magazine and Ninty Fresh this is his first book the unofficial Ami book which uh, features over 200 figures with trivia for each one it's a nice little book so you got overview of Toys to Life and Amiibo, more than 200 detailed, fun facts and trivia for every character, and bonus selection on the Pokemon Rumble figurines. So yeah, nice little book. I'm going to have to look over the weekend, looks really nice. It's got all the Amiibo there, including the ones that just came out, and even ones that are coming soon. Got the uh, Nintendo World bands. Got some stands and some special ones. Future Mebo cards. Serial Shadow Mewtwo. These Pokemon figurines, Rumble, and a list of all the backers. And somewhere in here, you'll even see my name. All right, so I'm really looking forward to seeing this. And this also came with a uh, poster listing all of them, Evo. I'm not going to unfold this right now. All right, so yeah, that is all my uh, video game pickups and arrivals from this month. Let me know what you think. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. And always, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share, etc. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.